Oh god, Dana, I... the entire mangrove root structure is contaminated. There is a viscous black substance like oil. It seems like it's spreading. It is not contaminated. It is changing, evolving. It's beautiful. It is reborn. This doesn't look right. Oh, constant interruptions. I do not have time to explain myself to you. It's beautiful, it's evolving. So she's one of these scientists that are so enamored with their discovery that they become insane. Look at this man, that's not beautiful, that's disgusting. It's like a huge zit. No, this is 10 flavors of bullshit right here. Okay, we're getting somewhere at least. Okay, open up. Oh, there's like a, a peaking, a peaking mechanic. Like uh, from Hitman games, you know, you just sort of have a look before you get out. That's a bad sign for later that you actually have to peek and stuff. Oh boy. Find the missing components, turn off the sprinklers. Jesus, this can't be Lucas again. Who just takes this stuff apart? Now I have to find where he put three water reclaimer pieces? Aish. A little bit of a fetch quest there, huh? Of course he leaves his ID. At least he has a higher clearance level. Soy well, boy. Lucas, <laughs> this for a bit. Should be able to open these doors now. Philolo what's it? Philology? Uh I don't know what that means actually. Philology. What does that actually mean? Use PC. Lucas from Buren. Alright, uh, once again, just doing some reading parts here. I'll skip to the. when I get to. done with the re reading. Hmm. Okay, well, it just basically says there that he's moved the water reclaimer cells to other districts within the greenhouse. This asshole right here. Look at this guy. Alright. I guess from the protagonist's point of view, okay. I think when you have games which are heavily on the narrative and that sort of thing, you have to see things from your point of view plus the point of view of the character. From my point of view, yeah, I know I'm playing a Lovecraftian video game and shit will hit the fan eventually. Well, from my point of view, I'm in Mars. Yeah, it's a dangerous work environment, obviously, but it's not like there's actually any threat. Basically, all I saw was some gross plants, you know, and why is that going to be a threat to me? See, now I got this guy's ID card. Now he's a higher security uh, clearance than I, so I can see more. Lucas, oh. the pieces for the water reclaimer are missing. Where are they? Uh, the, the reclaimer pieces are in their proper receptacles. More specifically? Follow the colored pipes. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm new elsewhere. I don't like this guy. So yeah, as I was saying, from a love, you know, you and I watching, we're going into this thing thinking, yeah, this is a Lovecraft in horror game. I found the environmental control console. Great. That's the last thing you need to clean up the greenhouse. But first, you need to restore the water reclaimer and shut off the sprinkler valves. Yeah, yeah. All right. Follow the pipes. All right. We'll start with. Oh, okay. Yellow. But like as I was saying, you know, we are watching this from our perspective. We think, yeah, okay. Where are the science of this Lovecraft in horror? Ooh, tentacle plants. All right. Now you think that's the first step. Dreams. But from the perspective, remember this is a story first and foremost. So we're thinking it. We're seeing it as like. Um, perspective of them it's it's nothing really to worry about some odd dreams okay fine the plants are going a bit out of control but there's no threat really right holy shit Ina Dr. Volkova where are you something is seriously wrong the infection is everywhere not infection it's evolution adaptation perfection my children they grow so quickly wrapped in creeping rootstocks where sap and blood coagulate. Do not fight it. Allow it to blossom. 
first in human history, the merging of two life forms. So she's already gone off the hook. Um, uh, <laughs> I was just gonna say, from this guy's perspective, there's nothing to worry about. He walks in a room, and the first thing he says is, "Holy shit!" <laughs> oh man, that is a disgusting sound. The Foley artists really outdid themselves. Oh my god, this is... So why has she gone completely insane already? Uh, from a storytelling perspective, I was hoping... She, they, you know, they sort of jumped right into the... Oh, okay, she's insane part, rather than... Um, the gradual slide into insanity. Fuck this. I mean, is she like Poison Ivy from Batman or something? Look at this. No, I mean, the plants are moving and stuff. Actually, that's from the color out of space. When the color from outer space sort of infested the earth, um, the plants, they moved without the wind, you know. Slightly, like this. Look at that. There's no wind in here. Is it the air conditioning? No, it's not. See, this is a bit fucked up. I know I'm supposed to go down that hatch there, but, uh, you know, <laughs> postponing the obvious inevitable, I guess you could say. Maybe there's something up here. A minigun, perhaps. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I know we're supposed to follow those yellow pipes as well. The yellow pipe, then the blue pipe, and then the red pipe. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna go through there just now, just, you know, looking around. It is a little bit disconcerting that I haven't seen anyone yet, you know. Uh, are those cells? Oh, it's a toilet. Oh, it's a space toilet. Okay. That's quite a serious door for a toilet, right? What the hell? <laughs> I guess people really want their privacy. There. There's one. The, the blue one. Got it. I found one of the components. Oh, great. Now just find the other two, so we can clean up this mess. Alright. I know I'm supposed to go there, just wait. This is how, this is how I do my gaming, alright? Is there anything of value up here? Before I go in there. Man, look at this. This is some, this is some Silent Hill type stuff right here, man. Look at this. <laughs> Someone uh, made a comment recently. Oh, you know, it would be cool if you played Silent Hill for um, for the channel. Uh, I played Silent Hill on PS One. Oh, I did. I turned off the sprinklers. Okay. I played Silent Hill for PS1, absolutely love the game. I've used the music a few times in my videos, but that game was honestly 10 out of 10 masterpiece. It really was. Um, but playing it for my channel, I don't know if that's the right thing to do. It's it, uh, it's, it's not really Lovecraftian horror, it's 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 his own thing, right? It's um, Yeah, it's more psychological horror, survival horror. Um, yeah. Jesus! What? What? The fuck? Oh god, the thing, the bridge fell. Look at this, it's just getting worse and worse. Oh boy. To be honest, guys, I'm a bit lost. Not with the plot, I mean, where the hell do I go <laughs> even in real life? I came up from here, I turned everything off, 
Uh, I'll go through the door. And uh, also, Sanity's Requiem, that Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, that got recommended to me multiple times. Uh, I didn't have a Dreamcast or GameCube or whichever platform it was on. And when I tried to emulate it a few years ago, my computer was not having it. I couldn't get the emulator to work properly, so... But yeah, I do recognize it as definitely a quintessential, quintessential game. What am I doing? Oh, uh, oh, I'm rotating this thing. Okay. Well, how do I... Oh. That's how I do it. Oh, it's like a pathway to get through. Well, I guess... If I look at things... This is the way. There we go. I should be able to get through there now, right? Jeez, they really let these plants take over. What? What the hell? I cannot get through there. What was the point of that thing? Okay, guys, I managed to get to the other side. Basically, you have to get in that thing, uh, open it on one side, get in, then reconnect to the thing, and then turn it again, and then you can get through. Hmm, they really are stressing the uh, puzzle solving thing here, aren't they? Kind of makes you wonder. Uh, <laughs> if you go into space, are they really going to be all this necessary puzzle type stuff? It's like when you play Resident Evil, right? And there's like the, the various castle pieces to open the doors, uh, the chest pieces to open the doors, the, the um, <laughs> what do you call them? The, um, oh, look at this. See, more puzzle stuff. No, wait, hold on. No, I just want to take it. <laughs> uh, you know, um, add to inventory. Yeah. Uh, all the sort of stuff that you uh, have to solve a puzzle just for the most basic. Jeez. What? Is someone there? What? It's uh, the most simple things just to um, get through. You know what I mean? Like you need to solve a puzzle just to open a basic door. No, it seems like we have that sort of situation here. It, it's fine from a gameplay point of, point of view. I don't mind it so much, but like, why the hell is it in um, in real life? You know. Anyway, let's fast forward until we get to the next thing. Uh, I'm fast forwarding here just for the sake of uh, fluidity. You know, getting things done, but uh, you're not really missing anything. See, I just go through here. This is how I did it. Uh, you stand up, and then you scan to connect, and then connect, and then exit here. And then, while well, you're in the trees here, but you can kind of see when it's open, and bingo. And then you can get through, theoretically. Can I? Yes. No, you can't. Well, you know, <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm going to fast forward until I get the final piece, and then we'll see. Warning. Containment breach. Containment breach. And then the music suddenly changes. Oh my god. Look at this toilet. What the hell did they eat? Ugh. I don't know, man. I, I was going for the key, and then... The door slams shut, and then... Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, I have like literally nothing to defend myself with, except harsh language. Something is loose. Uh, something? 
What? Something. I don't know yet. Okay, I'll contact Wilcox at the landing site. She'll get Lucas to talk. He should know what Volkov has been doing in there. Just hang tight and get that reclaimer online. Jesus Christ, look at this. Cages. And look how big that window, the hole in the window is. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll also have to turn off the sprinklers manually, or the system won't reboot. Oh my god. Uh, I can just walk through the window, right? Oh boy. Something is about to really piss in my cornflakes, I think. Alright. I got all the things. I think I just have to do them in here. Here they are. Oh my god, do you hear that growling in the background? Uh, each unit purifies a specific amount of water before it. Hmm. Uh. Alright, I'm just gonna have to. Red, yellow, blue. Okay. Red, yeah. I don't know how much amount. Okay guys, for this puzzle it seems to be pretty basic here. You have to have 80 in red, blue and green. Uh, red, blue and uh, yellow. And then each one has a certain amount. You see the middle one gets divided into the three. The, the one on the right gets divided into two. And the one on the left just has its own um, amount. So you have to basically equal it out. Okay, so to, to save your time and my embarrassing mathematics, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna fast forward to the point where I solve this. Okay, all right, guys, I think I have it solved. So each part has to have 80. All right, so the blue part is just one. So you put 50 into this part. So it needs 80, but it has 50 now. You go to this one. This one is divided by three. All right, so you have 90 divided by three. So 50, 60, 70, 80. This will leave 30 here, and then 30 will go to that part, so keep that in mind. So here you have 30, and 30 goes over to here. And so if you divide it by 100, this one is divided by 100, so 50 will go to the blue, 50 will go to the yellow, and from the yellow, 30 goes... Let's just see if I got it right. I think I did, but let's have a look, huh? Hey, I'm not as dumb as I look. <laughs> All right, up I got running. it. Only took me three minutes to in the end. Switch on the environment control console. Should be right outside the door. All right, guys. Uh, well, we did that. Sorry if I explained that math badly. You know, I always used to get into trouble in math class. I used to be able to figure out the answer, but always explaining it was um, a headache for me. Something, as soon as I pull this thing, she's just gonna hit the fan. I just know it. But let's have a look. What the hell? Declan, are you there? Declan! God damn it, Declan! Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, what is that? Oh. Fuck. Shit! What? Escape the greenhouse? Gee, you think so? Oh. Oh, oh shit! Oh, uh, I have no doubt. Run your tits off! Come on, sir. Uh, come on! Come on! Come on! Doesn't work. Oh shit! Go, 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 go! Go, run you! T Shit! Oh my god! Yeah, run! Oh, f oh shit! Sh it's got me cornered, man. What the hell do I do? <laughs> Shit! Oh, 
Okay, he's just gonna wait for me to figure it out. He's a very kind monster, Eldritch Horror there. Oh my god. No. No. Oh my god, I'm going like a fucking snail here, man. <laughs> shit. I hate this shit, I really do. What is this? Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. We agree, get out. Oh shit! Oh! Oh Yeah, I noticed. Alright guys, let's try that again, huh? Alright. I'm back. Go to the left. No, it's locked. Go to this way. Go! <laughs> I'm running like a lethargic old lady with heavy shopping, man. This is bullshit. <sighs> There's a horrible creature in the greenhouse. It tried to kill me. Do not return to base. Does anyone read me? Ina, Lucas, Commander Wilcox. I've got to warn them. If I can get to Declan at the satellite station, we can try to reestablish communications. Ten bucks is that thing can breathe out in space. Oh my god. <laughs> That thing, oh my god, what the hell was it, man? What the hell was it? It looked... It looked like some of those monster designs from the board games. You know, Arkham Horror... Horror... Eldritch Horror. Let's go. Oh man, I'm a bit embarrassed that I got killed there, man. But like running is really not smooth, you know. I do not feel confident to run there. I mean, he really runs slowly. Oh man.